Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new here, hey, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today I'm here with another installment in my Spirit of Flight comparison series, which is kind of an epic level comparison <laughs> that has turned into a pretty long-term project, which I'm okay with that is a comparison of the same piece of artwork done by two different diamond painting companies. And the reality is that just about the only thing these two diamond painting companies have in common is that they have legally licensed this piece from the fabulous artist Josephine Wall. This piece, as I mentioned, is called Spirit of Flight. It's one of Josephine Wall's really iconic and well-known pieces of art. And of course, I think that's why a lot of diamond painting companies are excited to license it for diamond painting. Now, I have lots of fondness and love for both of the companies that I'm working on this kit from. And so, as I always say in the videos in the series, I, I like to tell you right up front that my goal for myself and for you guys as well is to not be pitting these companies against one another and not, I'm not making this series about having these two companies duke it out to see who, who did it best. <laughs> you know, this is about showcasing these companies' strengths and giving you a chance to see what you can expect if you were to order from one of these companies and, you know, what their distinct styles are. So just to give you a little bit of the quick stats, quick breakdown in case you're new to this series, which by the way, if you are brand new to the series, I have a playlist where I have done video updates as I've progressed on this project. I encourage you to check it out so maybe you feel a little bit less lost. But just to give you a really quick recap, the two canvases that I'm working on, one is from the company Diamond Art Club. And as I mentioned, it has been legally licensed from the artist. Um, it is on poured glue, has square drills, is 106 by 70 centimeters, and has 66 colors. The other canvas is from the company Diamond Painting Deutschland, Germany, <laughs> and is also has square drills, so I suppose they have that in common as well. It is 100 by 75 centimeters and has 275 colors. So. Companies have very distinct rendering styles, which is going to be incredibly apparent to you in just a moment when I show you um, my current progress. So what I have decided to do is I've broken each of these very large canvases into eight columns left to right. So that even though they have slightly different dimensions, it's still going to break down into eight sections each and should be roughly about the same amount of artwork covered in each update. Um, I've saved the column with Spirit of Flight's face for last as motivation to get me through this really intense and marathon of a project. And each time that I complete a column in both canvases, because I'm basically I'm completing one column in one canvas and then completing the same column in the second canvas and then doing a comparison. So today we are, we're past the halfway point. Uh, my last video was of the halfway point of this canvas. And today we're gonna be talking about the fifth column, the fifth of eight columns. And this took me a little bit longer because I took a little bit of a breather. And just when the videos themselves go up, I'm a little bit unpredictable with, so it's not the best representation. But I did work on the fifth column over the course of a few weeks. I had a couple other projects that were a little more time sensitive. I was spending my time and my focus on, um, but I did have a very consistent experience where the Diamond Painting Deutschland version took me three to four times as long to complete as the Diamond Art Club version because there are just so many colors in the Diamond Painting Deutschland version. It's confetti central, <laughs> truly. There's very, very little color blocking. And where there is color blocking, it's like three or four drills of the same color in a row. So bust out that multi-placer. Uh, but I am thoroughly enjoying both projects. Truly, it doesn't feel like I'm doing the same project twice over because they're so different. But let me not continue to leave you hanging. Let's take a look at what we have so far. And what you're gonna see is 
three columns over here on the left hand side. There are two columns complete on the right hand side, but just because of how I'm working on it, these are the three columns of this side. So, Oops. sorry about that. All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at how beautiful that is coming together. And look at how utterly different these two pieces are from one another. Truly, I feel like these are both absolutely stunning in their own unique, distinct ways. So right away, I'm sure that you will notice the very stark differences in rendering styles and charting and colors. So this one here on the right, this is the one from Diamond Art Club. Again, it has 66 colors. The one on the left, this is the one from Diamond Painting Deutschland with 275 colors. My thoughts and my experience continue to be pretty consistent with past videos where I have found the Diamond Art Club version to be very clean, lots of clean lines, um, lots of looking at Josephine Wall's original artwork and charting it in such a way that it's very clear what you're looking at, both up close and from a viewing distance. I, I like the level of detail and it's obvious that a lot of time and care and intention went into the charting of this piece. Diamond Art Club does hand chart all of their kits and particularly the Josephine Wall canvases that they've licensed are extremely time and labor intensive for them to hand chart because her artwork has so much detail and nuance to it. The Diamond Painting Deutschland version, I feel like, has a very watercolor and impressionistic effect where there's a lot more blur between the colors. There's a lot more just sort of free melding and shifting between the colors. And particularly up close, much of the detail is not clear. Something you definitely should keep in mind with diamond paintings in general, but especially with really large pieces like this, is you're, you're supposed to be looking at them from a viewing distance. When you're looking at this piece of artwork, like for example, this 100 by 75 centimeter piece, of which this is just over, well, a third-ish of, you're not going to be standing just two or three feet from it. Right now the camera is mm, three to four feet from these canvases, so even that is not what I would consider to be a viewing distance. This is on your wall and you're standing back and looking at it. The details are going to come together so much better than when you're right up close in it. That's especially true and you're really going to see that difference when it comes to the Diamond Painting Deutschland version. The Diamond Art Club version, you're go you are going to see more of that detail up close and it's just going to be even more evident like when you step back and look at the whole thing. Now, when I complete these projects, I am going to be sure to share with you some distance length <laughs> pictures so you can see what these look like at a viewing distance. But my goodness, how different these pieces are. Um, along with the different rendering styles, Diamond Art Club does include and chart ABs in their kits. And in this particular column, so this Column on the right, this is the fifth column that's been completed. Um, there were a lot more in the way of ABs. They used white ABs to highlight the folds. This is the folds of Spirit of Flight's dress. There's a little bit here on the tip of this feather, this feather as well. And then highlighting some parts of the flying fish and a bit of the waves up there. Uh, the Diamond Art Club version does not, or sorry, the Diamond Painting Deutschland version does not have any ABs charted and I am not planning to add any myself because I want to show you exactly what you are going to get if you were to complete a Diamond Painting Deutschland kit yourself and not make additions or enhancements. Now, thankfully, I haven't run into any issues with uh, the glue. Uh, poured glue, which is what Diamond Art Club has, is generally like really easy to work with. Double-sided adhesive, which is what the Diamond Painting Deutschland version has, can be a little bit more fickle to work with, 
but quite honestly, especially given that I've kept this hanging flat ever since unrolling it and unboxing it, I've, I've run into zero issues with this adhesive whatsoever and I haven't had any drills falling off. I haven't run into rivers or bubbles, so I don't have any complaints as far as that goes. Now, what I'd really like to do, and this is one of my favorite parts of the video, to be completely honest, is we're gonna shift this over. I'm gonna make space. I'm gonna have to get creative here with my camera. Um, I'm gonna shift this over and we are going to put up the original artwork from Josephine Wall and um, share it with you. So we can take a look and see, okay, what do we think as far as how each of these companies has chosen to interpret her artwork? So let me get this all shifted and make sure it's set in my camera so you can see what's going on. <laughs> as I complete more of the canvas, it gets trickier and trickier to film. So um, let me shift this for you and we'll take a look together. Okay, so out of necessity and practicality, uh, I'm not really able to show the full, like, completed pieces with the original artwork in the middle. Right now I'm just going to try to do a comparison here of the columns that we're looking at. So um, again, this is the fifth column that I completed is this one that's closest to the inside edge. And that being said, let's go ahead and pull up Josephine Wall's original artwork. So I do want to go ahead and share with you something that I discovered um, very recently. <laughs> and that is that for these videos, I've been using the original artwork that Diamond Art Club has posted on the listing for their Spirit of Flight kit. And what I discovered as I started poking around a bit more is that Diamond Art Club has actually slightly just very slightly altered the original artwork to fit the dimensions of the kit that they wanted to make. Um, and so what I'm showing you now is in fact Diamond Art Club's, what they have on their website as Josephine Wall's original artwork. And you probably, as we're getting further into this, I'm guessing that you, along with me, <laughs> will notice how it does indeed match the Diamond Art Club diamond painting very closely. I feel like you can notice it best maybe in the folds of her dress, but it looks like the original artwork that I'm showing you right now looks a little bit stretched maybe compared to the diamond painting Deutschland version. I did a bit of digging and in most other places, Josephine Wall's original artwork for Spirit of Flight is a little bit closer in proportion and dimensions to Diamond Painting Deutschland's version. Now, I am not 100% sure why Diamond Art Club chose to shift this a little bit. I know that Diamond Art Club is very intentional about the sizes of canvases that they produce and that they're trying to give us the absolute best rendering possible in the best size possible it's going to do the artwork justice. So I'm not even remotely criticizing how Diamond Art Club has chosen to shift a bit of Josephine Wall's original artwork. I totally get it, but just because I noticed this and I want to share with you all, I want to go ahead and also share with you what I've found, what I believe is how Josephine Wall originally created this artwork. So let me shift the Diamond Art Club version off the screen here and let's pop up the original artwork as well. The main difference that I noticed between these two original artworks that I'm showing you is that just the Diamond Art Club version is just stretched left to right just a bit. I don't think that it takes away from the artwork. It's just something that I noticed and I wanted to point out to you as we're comparing. Let's actually compare to the diamond paintings now. <laughs> so Honestly, as always, what I'm finding is that the original artwork is somewhere a bit in between these two pieces. There are things that I feel like each of these kits really draws on well and enhances well. So for example, even though in the original artwork, indeed like this dragonfly here at the bottom, and the original artwork is quite faint and 
in a lot of ways, the Diamond Painting Deutschland version is, is maybe truer to the original artwork. I don't dislike how Diamond Art Club has chosen to chart it instead where it's very distinct and very clear what it is we're looking at. I do feel like a lot of Diamond Art Club's charting is a bit darker and a bit, just a bit more, it's just very clean and it's, it's a bit higher in contrast than I feel the original artwork is. The upside to that is that you're still getting this absolutely stunning artwork and you really know what you're looking at. I think it's beautifully done. In a lot of ways, the Diamond Painting Deutschland version though, feels like it captures, particularly in these lighter sections, really, like I just adore, adore all of the pastels in her dress that Diamond Painting Deutschland has done. I think that it just, there's there's a whimsy and a movement and a sort of ethereal feel to the folds of her dress here that I love how Diamond Painting Deutschland has chosen to capture it. On the other hand, I think the addition of ABs from Diamond Art Club is glorious. Like I almost, I almost, when this is done, I'm gonna wanna pick off some of these white drills here in the Diamond Painting Deutschland version and put down some white ABs because I think that would be just like my most favorite section of diamond painting I've worked on in a really long time. <laughs> if we keep moving up, this feather, oh my goodness, how different, how differently these are charted. And once again, I feel like this, they've given it a lot more detail and a lot of clean, clean, clean lines, which like, I mean, there's sort of a clean line here in the spine of the feather in the original artwork, but then like these wisps and the original artwork, I feel like they're much less defined, but I feel like this is a little bit muddy. Um, it's almost too, I don't know. It's almost got too much of that watercolor, too much of that just, I would have loved to see them take the computer charting and just tweak it a bit, you know? I think that this would be really pretty. I think that these parts, you know, I don't know what you call this part of the peacock feather, but like, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful in both. If we keep moving up, let me shift this down so you can see a bit of the top of the canvas because I actually haven't really been showing you that much <laughs> up till now. Um, some very, very, very different color choices happening here towards the top. So again, Diamond Art Club has gone with a bit sort of darker, like higher contrast take on it. And this feels a bit lighter. Again, I like both, but for different reasons. I think I like the blues in the Diamond Painting Deutschland version. I like that it's, you know, it's not as harsh, but at the same time, there's a bit more like fierceness to the waves that I get from the original artwork that I think Diamond Art Club communicates a bit more clearly. Now, I like that you can really make out these, I assume these are seagulls here, because they're, I mean, they're above the waves, that would, that would follow. <laughs> I like that you can make out the detail in them really well in the Diamond Art Club version, but I don't know, I really don't know how I feel about the yellow outlining on the tops of their wings. There is kind of a light outline on their wings in the original artwork, but I just, the yellow feels maybe a little bit stark to me. And then we have the edge of, this is gonna be, um, I think an eagle's wing. Do we think that's, an, yeah, you guys don't have the whole piece in front of you either. Um, it's some kind of like bird of prey's wing. And I do think I like the Diamond Art Club rendering of it just a little bit better. I like the shading and the darkness in the feathers. I, I, I do think I like that a little bit better. So let me shift this up again. And what we've been looking at, like I, oops. What we've been looking at, as I mentioned, has been the original artwork. And I wanna go ahead and pop back up the Diamond Art Club version that's on the Diamond Art Club website, um, just for sake of comparison, one more time. And 
yeah, gosh, these feathers and her hair are just absolutely beautiful in both in both pieces. I really love that. So I would absolutely, absolutely love to hear what your thoughts are. I will take a quick moment, by the way, and I'm gonna pop up here on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of each of these pieces um, in their entirety so that you can see what I have, like all five of the columns that I've completed so far and do a side-by-side -side comparison of what we have so far that way as well. So first, let me go ahead and put up, here's the Diamond Art Club version, the whole thing. And here's the Diamond Painting Deutschland version the whole thing. And we'll go back to Diamond Art Club and Diamond Painting Deutschland again. So taking a look at both of these kits in their entirety and, and you know specific to this column as well I suppose, I would love to hear your thoughts. Absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Which piece is speaking to you more than the other right now? Um, is there one that you're more drawn to? What are your thoughts as far as how each company has taken Josephine Wall's original artwork and interpreted it for diamond painting? Because that's truly how I feel each of these are, is interpretations of her artwork. And I'm anxious to see if there is an in-between out there. And yes, I know of a couple of companies that have licensed this piece. Maybe someday I will try them. We will see. <laughs> I'm just going to focus on finishing this particular comparison project for the moment. But maybe someday. Maybe someday. All right, my friends. Just a gentle reminder that, again, this is not at all about trying to say which company we think is best, but just what elements of these pieces speak to you the most? What do you what do you like best about how um, they've charted this artwork? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So uh, I'm hoping that I'll have the next column finished before too long, but um, we'll see one step, one day at a time. <laughs> I am again, as always, just trying to pace myself with this project because I have gotten close to burnout a couple of times and I just, I don't want to burn out on this project at all um, because I'm enjoying it when I work on it when I'm not burnt out and I want to stick to that if I can. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you haven't had the chance to check out the other videos in the series, please check out the playlist that I'll link below. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. You can follow along on this project with me and see lots of other diamond painting content. And I'd also just love to get to know you. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up before you head on about your day. I look forward to reading your comments and seeing what your thoughts are. And thank you for watching. All right, my friends, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.